doing black and white photography, the first thing you have to do is to start an actual picture session with regular camera. This is essential because if you're doing and going for black and white right away, you will have to have a camera that is capable of doing black and white photography. And if you're using your phone, you might not have this feature in it. Even if you have a camera with black and white enabled in it, the whole problem with this is once you go black and white, you cannot go back to colorful. So I do suggest for you to get started with colorful images first and then go into black and white photography. So how do we go ahead and do this? The first thing I suggest for you to do is to take pictures, colorful, and then if you're going to go back and edit every single picture and to make it black and white. So before you actually do it, press on duplicate or find software that lets you duplicate the image. And then we're going to go into the edit tool and we're going to make sure the picture first is up to snuff before we go ahead and start making it a black and white picture. So let's go into adjust. And move this around you see like the image gets a lot more different as we go through this this is a way too much edit in here we want to do the slimmest and the least edits that we need in order to get this picture a lot better looking and then once it is ready we go into the effects and press on black and white then the next step for you is to go back to the adjustment board and keep on adjusting the image. As you can see right here, the middle part is not as beautiful as it should be. The jacket itself, that's what I mean. And as I go through this, you can see this specific tool on this side is essential. It gives it a lot more definition to the actual picture. And then see if saturation tool is another good one as well. So what you're doing is pretty much adjusting a little bit the picture just to see if this actually brings out more attention to the picture or it makes it better. So once we go and find an image that we made a very good job in duplicating and creating a very nice black and white image from it, Next step is to go and press on duplicate once again. Go into the picture, press on edit. We're going to be doing a zoom in copy image of the same exact picture. So this is going to be like a portrait like image of it. And you be using rule of thirds in order for us to make it even better. So you can see like the top four quarters of it is where I put all my attention into because this is where the eye naturally goes into. And now we're going to be pressing on done. So this is going to be in the next black and white picture for the same thing. Then we go into the edit tool, retouch. If you see any imperfections in the picture, I'm going to take it out. I'm going to go ahead and do the same exact thing over here. Edit, retouch. And sometimes those things are shown on the film, not exactly the same as shown in the actual picture. So keep this in mind. Now, next thing we're going to be doing is going through the images. We're looking for another very good picture for us to go through. And this one. This one really stands out. I like that one, this one right here. And this is the next one that's gonna be the same exact thing. Press over here, duplicate the same image in case something goes wrong. And even if it does, this one does have revert to original feature in the iPhoto. Some programs don't actually have that. That's why I do the backup copy just in case. So press and adjust. And move this tool just a little bit. Now you don't have to go ahead and do the adjustments before you convert it into black and white. 
it's something that I like to do but it's not necessary you can go right away convert this to black and white then you can go to adjust and adjust the image itself just a little bit what it needs to here we go we got this done the situation tool doesn't do as much here as it does with anywhere else such as a colorful picture but still some of those slim and small adjustments make a very nice difference in the actual picture so we are done with this one you're gonna go ahead and duplicate the same exact image once again. Press on edit. Retouch, adjusting any imperfection on the face. Now we could have went and zoomed totally in and did it even more, but in this specific case, it's not even necessary. Here we go. I think this is gonna highlight this specific image a lot more. Use the rule of thirds in order for us to gather the best possible image for the portrait. Press on done. And voila, we have another black and white one completed. And we keep on going through this. And this one, her face is not correct for this image so we are skipping that one and this one is not good enough for black and white now we are, we are trying to find pictures that really highlight the image for black and white photography not every single picture is going to be a candidate for this so duplicating this specific one because i like it a lot press on edit once again the whole process is the same for every picture convert it to black and white we go ahead and do the whole exact thing here fixing up the image and sometimes like in this specific case there is a little bit here on the short so in this one we have to really zoom in you see right here there's something like that keep on zooming in we're just going to be editing this specific area right here and now it's gone and now i'm going to go and make a little adjustment over here and a little bit of situation now this looks really nice and for the finished touch we're going to go and blow the edges and that's going to look really really cute on the other hand we want to duplicate this first. So because we want to duplicate, what we're going to be doing is duplicating this image. And we're going to be doing the finishing touch right now, blowing the, the sides. Because we're going to be doing the same exact thing over here as well. We're going to be editing this picture. We're going to be cropping it. And I want more of the background of this specific image because it's so beautiful. But because we are blowing the edges, we're gonna have more space on the sides for it. So let's go ahead and do this. Now we're gonna go into the effect and age blow. And it doesn't blow the actual face when we did this. Going through this, one thing I do suggest for you when you have a photo session, you have so many pictures that you took, is not only to have a lot of images, but to make sure that you have many of them that are good. And this one really looks good right here. I really like the way the picture looks. So much so that this one has the background in a portrait mode for it. So let's go ahead and do that one. Some of them may not be actually appropriate for us to go ahead and do black and white for it. So only the best images are the ones that are qualified to get the black and white treatment for that. This one already has the blow for the back. So all it needs is to get some adjustments done for it. Black and white. Now we're gonna go ahead and move the levels just a bit 
and we want the jacket to stand out just a bit as well but not too much you can see that if you do too much it totally messes up the whole image so we are trying to make the image stand out and look even better and the mistake would be to do too many edits some people go really crazy about the edits and start editing as much as we can every single one of those levels and know that it's not required in fact it's actually even worse you you really want to do just as little possible adjustments as you possibly can to get the image beautiful and that's it it's an art form of art it's not a science so you don't go ahead and go by specific rules by trying to make this work in a certain way and everything else you're just trying to make this just the best possible image it can possibly be for the tools that you have to work with and they're not they don't have to be very professional tools that is whatever software that you're comfortable with using do the same method pretty much with this now you can see on the bottom here you can see her jewelry and this is tricky here so either you're going to include the jewelry all of it or we have to go through and get rid of the entire jewelry on the hand so it's either like this or we put all the jewelry in so we can try both ways first try it this way and the press on done and this looks pretty decent so i like this one so this stays right here keep going through the images no i'm not too sure about that one when you're not sure of an image if you're not don't think it's good enough you have to go through sometimes you have to go through it the second time this one i think this one is actually sometimes the image itself might look even better black and white than it can look with color so we're going to be testing this one right here so go ahead and duplicate this specific image right here and give it the black and white treatment black and white and now add a little bit of saturation to this yes this this really looks really nice and now we're going to be doing the same thing portrait once again by duplicating the black and white so the process is always the same press on edit right here uh, retouch i'm going to be touching the face just a bit the same thing right here we're touching the face because in black and white sometimes you see things that you don't actually see in colorful it will be okay in the colorful version but black and white makes certain things stand out a bit more so you want to make sure that you're editing the face for any imperfection that you might see on in film now in this specific case you see if you have the hand here it's not gonna work good for the portrait so we're gonna go and zoom even more and skip the jewel just right there there we go it has to be exactly right for this to look correct and press on done now over here on the side i don't like this i'm gonna be zooming in a little bit more press on done once again i think this looks much more decent and better and then this one i think if we add a little bit of edge blur it's gonna look even much more better as well so we have a bunch of images that we converted into black and white photography and now we're just looking once again and seeing if there was anything that we potentially missed here as a good potential for it and i always pick the best possible images to do exactly that so this one looks pretty decent as well i like this one so let's go ahead and do the same exact thing here now if you want to do 
the fastest way to fix things I would actually fix first any imperfections on the original image before we go ahead and move into anything else so let's go zoom super in this is the professional way of actually going through this where you go through the you're fixing any small imperfections uh, in the skin and that's something I do recommend for you to do because then it's easier once you fix something like that for the actual image to look much more better so let's go ahead and go more in and don't make this too big and just a little bit here I think this is good and now if I'm satisfied with the way this works and that's actually the way I do suggest for you to do this by fixing false imperfections on the original image before going and redoing it on the black and white ones but it's not necessary this is definitely the fastest way to get it done and if you look at this you can see that in some of them those imperfections are not this bad so if I was gonna do imperfection on this one there's only one I could see right up forward here so I'll be fixing that one and that's it on the other hand this one have more because she smiled and it makes it more likely that some imperfections are going to be showing up here so this one we are going to be doing the black and white treatment press on edit to over here moving on the effects and then black and white adjusting it just a little bit in situation right here this looks great by the way and now what I'm gonna be doing is once again duplicating the same exact image because I'm gonna go ahead go back in here go into the effects and add the edge blow to it but add actually twice as much as before now I do think that this one doesn't look this good with the edge blow and in fact I think there's too much background that is unnecessary that doesn't do justice for the actual image so I'm going to be removing most of it out I do like the pine tree the small one on this side and now I'm going to be pressing on that so this is much better by the way and when you do twice edge blow it doesn't look as good as once and sometimes in this specific case uh, it's tricky and I think in this one edge blow actually makes the picture worse so we will not be using edge blow for this one on the other hand for this one I'm gonna create and make a portrait out of it move much closer to the actual image press on done now that's beautiful and then edge, bo edge blow on it I think it looks really good now there's a lot of other effects here but they don't actually work for black and white as you can see you press on them and it changes back to colorful so we, we stay in the black and white and I think this is good enough so yes we have a bunch of different images we have been able to convert into black and white photography and to make them exceptional and very good and we already decided that some of them don't belong to be black and white but this one is interesting here I think this one might be another one of those hidden candidates for it so let's duplicate this one press on edit and see if this can be converted to black and white now the reason why some of them cannot be converted I don't mean that they can't convert but pretty much if you convert them they just don't look good being converted to black and white photography in this specific case accidentally right there we touched the wrong area it was this right here that looked weird in the picture so let's get rid of this 
and I missed it. There. We're going to go through the actual image and we are scanning it for small things. And right here, just a little bit. And try not to make too many edits like that because we are trying to preserve the actual image in its beautiful glory as much as possible. So the more edits you do, sometimes it actually messes the picture up. So be careful with that. And I think we're done here. Zoom out. And now it is time for us to duplicate the same exact image once again and convert this one into a portrait. And there we go. Voila done beautiful and this is my walkabout over here and it is really time for you to go ahead and find your model take pictures and decide which pictures should be converted into black and white photography